The long jump is a jump where a subject's task is to jump as long as possible. The long jump is one of the most often used tests for maximal anaerobic power output of the lower extremities. It is an eccentric concentric muscle action which involves coordinated extension of the trunk, hips, knees and ankles. Based on the parameters derived from the ground reaction force, the dynamics of this elementary movement pattern can be thoroughly studied. Enter the long jump test module from the main window by clicking on the long jump button. Make sure you have acquired the subject's body weight beforehand. As with the organization of all the Mars test modules, the interface is divided into a left setup panel, a right analysis panel, a bottom measurement panel, and a central signals and results area. Before beginning with the measurements, appropriate input parameters must be determined in the setup panel. These are lower extremities, where you can choose among bilateral jump, jump with the left leg, or jump with the right leg, and upper extremities, where you can choose among hands positioned on the hips, freely positioned, crossed over the chest, or positioned behind the neck. To start with the measurement, click on New Measurement. After launching the test module and clicking the New Measurement button, initialization and offset takes place. During this time, the subject should not be on the force plate. If necessary, the measurement mode can be cancelled by pressing the Cancel button. Before beginning with the measurement, the subject must assume an appropriate initial position, that is standing without any flexion in the knees and hips and with eyes directed to the front. The goal of the task is to produce an explosive and long horizontal jump with prior downward movement. Initiate the measurement by pressing Start. The landing must be performed on the surface in line with the force plate. The measurement stops automatically after completing the task. It can also be stopped manually by pressing the stop button in the lower panel. The measurement can be repeated by clicking on New Measurement, not saving the previous repetition. If you are satisfied with the measurement, you can save it. The central window displays the vertical and horizontal ground reaction force measured by the force plate. The markers are positioned automatically on the most relevant spots used for analysis. The initiation of the movement action, marked by the start cursor, is identified by a decrease in ground reaction force profile. Takeoff can be easily identified by the moment when the ground reaction force falls to zero. Cursors positioned on start and takeoff can be manually adjusted. Other cursors are adjusted automatically. If again automatic positioning is required, click Analyze and cursors will be repositioned according to your settings specifications. If the cursors are repositioned, the new analysis can be saved as a new measurement by pressing Save. Data from the analysis can be viewed under the Results Table tab. The results parameters are divided into three main groups. General parameters, these include different velocity, acceleration, force, power and work parameters. Additionally, various time profile and force impulse parameters are calculated. A more thorough description of the parameters can be accessed by right-clicking on the parameter name. The options for displaying specific sets of parameters can be accessed in the Parameters View menu in the right panel. For more information on this topic, please refer to tutorial number 7.